Hello and welcome back to my channel. What's today's video about? Well, it's a couple of things that are sitting here which are always going to be on my desk or they have been of late and it's these two items here. It is the Logitech MX series. So we've got the MX Keys keyboard and the MX Master 3 mouse. Right, so regular viewers of my channel will have seen these on quite a few videos, so you'll know how long I've been using them for. And I have to do a review of them because they're fast becoming my favourite little gadgets that I use. Well, let's face it, I use them every single day. Now, big shout out to Logitech. They actually sent these to me for a review some time ago. Uh, so very, very appreciative of that. I'm glad you did because, um, well, a bit of a spoiler alert, but I kind of love them. <laughs> I don't think I could go back uh, to not using these. I mean, look at this keyboard. It is just beautiful. It's a lovely graphite black keyboard here. And again, the mouse is very, very attractive looking and it is very, very comfortable. I really do enjoy both of these little gadgets here. Before I tell you why I love them, I'm just going to explain exactly the kind of specs around these two gadgets. Right, they're both USB-C, which is handy. Battery-wise, you will not have to worry about battery at all. On a full charge, with the backlight totally lit up all the time, you get a full 10 days. But if you turn off the backlight, you can actually get up to five months on one charge, which is incredible. Uh, but what this actually has got as well is a kind of uh, intuitive power saving mode. So basically when um, you go anywhere near the keyboard, it lights up. Very hard to show in uh, this current environment right now, but it really does, uh, it works. So from with that enabled, that power saving enable, enabled, you really do get a very, very long battery life with this. You can use this on pretty much any operating system, whether that's Mac, Linux, or Windows, and you can also use it on your tablet as well. You can pair it up to three devices at once. It's just incredible, literally a switch of a button and you can go onto another device. You can also, with Flow enabled, you can copy and paste or move files from your Windows PC onto your Mac, literally just by dragging and dropping. It really is amazing. Now the mouse, you can actually get up to 70 days on one full charge, but if it does run out, charge it for one minute and you get three hours of charge. So basically this will never ever run out of charge. Again, you can get pair this up to three devices. It's literally on the bottom here and it's one, two, three. It's a matter of clicking a button there and you can do flow as well. So literally copy and paste from your Mac onto your Windows PC. You can also customize the gestures using this mouse. So whether you're using Adobe Photoshop or Final Cut Pro, you can actually customize the actions of this mouse for a particular app. There's many, many apps that you can do that with. Google Chrome, Premiere Pro. There's absolutely quite a lot uh, that you can do. The full disclosure will be on the website. Basically, I use them for Final Cut Pro um, and anything Mac related. But anyway, Let's go on with this beautiful keyboard. I just want to show you a little bit more about it. It's got all the functionality of a Mac keyboard and a Windows keyboard. So you've got all the kind of regular things that you would definitely, keys that you would have on your Mac keyboard. Little things as well, which I really, really love. Little things that I love, it's crazy. Press that, you get your calculator up. I know it's crazy, but it's I, I just love it. Uh, screen grab, straight away, just press that button, which I know PC owners, They've got that all the time, but for us Macs, we have to use a shortcut. Uh, this is another one, the lock function. Press that and you can instantly lock your computer. So if you're want, if you're quickly moving away and you want to lock it down so nobody can look onto your workstation, press that and you have to put in the password after it. Now, obviously it's a full size keyboard. It is a low profile keyboard. Uh, you can't actually, adjust it in any way so there's no uh, feet at the back so basically what you get this position is you're stuck with 
it's got really good bits of rubber at the bottom here that actually uh, mold it in place. It's incredible. You, it will not move. It really is. Uh, it's amazing, these little bits of rubber, but they really are, uh, really are solid. I don't know if you can just kind of notice there, but I don't know if you can see the light going on and off. But uh, that's just, it's using the function where you go anywhere near it and it will light up. Now, to type on it, it really is pretty, pretty cool. You've got to get used to it. I mean, you, I'm going from a Mac keyboard. Uh, I've also used uh, mechanical keyboards as well. Didn't really like the mechanical keyboards. You can uh, check the, is it up there? Video that I did on a very key two keyboard. Was it the key six keyboard? Keychron keyboard, did that, this one here. Didn't really like it, looks great, but wasn't for me. This keyboard is more me. I really find it a really pleasant typing experience. Along with the other functionality that you can do with this keyboard, it is really is a no-brainer if you have the cash. This is a premium product. This retails at £99, so it's not cheap at all. But if you've got the money, it's well worth the investment. It really is. Put that to the side. What about this mouse? Love this mouse. I know, I'm sorry, I'm totally biased, but I love it because I've been using it and that's what happens. Uh, when you use these products, you will uh, grow to love them. The scroll wheel is incredibly tactile. Now there's two functions for it. You can press this little button up at the top and then it becomes clicky. It kind of moves down in little gradients. It really is very tactile. Uh, press this button here and all of a sudden it becomes a massive scrolling machine. Literally you can go from the top of a huge big document right down to the bottom in no time. In fact it's still spinning sometimes when you go into another document you have to stop it because it's going to scroll on. It really is a great function. I use it all the time. I actually prefer the free flowing mode because it is totally silent. You cannot hear it. You can hardly hear it. It really is totally silent. And if you press this button here, you can then hear, maybe you can hear this. Very, very subtle, but again, it still moves, but then stops. Hear it? It is just an amazing key, uh, mouse keyboard in the brain. You've also got your regular uh, buttons that you would expect on a premium mouse. You've got your forward and your back, and then you've got your, what is that button called? Anyway, you press it, and the screen comes down. A command button, I guess. Um, sorry. You've also got this little scroll wheel as well, which is very, very handy on apps like Final Cut Pro X. If I could improve this mouse, if I could improve this mouse, I would make that similar to that because when you're scrolling vertically from left to right, it really is a lot easier if you're on a touchpad you can just flick all the way across. I would love to be able to flick with this. So if I could improve this mouse, that's how I would improve it. Other than that, I totally love it. It works on pretty much any surface, so they say. Uh, it really is, it's, it's, it's very comfortable as well. The angle is not totally straight on. If you can see, the angle is just a little bit curved down there and it just makes it very, very, very nice just to, Put your hand on. I've met times I've just got my hand on it all the time because it's just very, very comfortable. To switch to another device, you've got your one, two, and three. Now I've, I've currently got this set up to my main Mac and I've also got it to my MacBook Pro. And it's so simple. You just press to the corresponding number. It's exactly the same with the keyboard. This, pro this isn't the most technical review you will ever see, but in the same sense, this is practical. This is a practical review, and I can't go without these two products now. I love them. They'll always be part, I reckon, of uh, my setup until maybe uh, I get a new Logitech keyboard, possibly, or another one comes along. But 
yeah, I'll be holding on to these, definitely. If you want to get them yourself, I do believe you can get a discount if you buy them both at the same time, but I think they both retail for around about the same price, £99 each. So they are a premium product, I admit they are premium. If you have the funds, you won't regret it. You really won't regret it, especially if you use them. If you this is part of your working day, uh, it really will uh, make the most of your cash spent. Value for money, basically. There we go. A very honest assessment of these two peripherals. Is that right? Peripherals? That's it. If you like it, please leave a like, subscribe for more. See you again. Bye-bye.